the show is back. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Never heard of it. Uh, I have not heard about this. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I just... This is, this is crazy, man. This is, this is absolutely crazy. I, I'm, I'm uncomfortable right now. You know, when I said let's casually talk for the next four minutes, I didn't realize this would be so fucking loud. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, just being like put on the spot like this is just awkward. But uh, yeah, <laughs> well, you do your cat's ready. Oh yeah, my cat is ready. He is ready. He is sitting here like crazy. Yeah, well, no one can see Fennel right now, champ. But we can. Yes, you can see Fennel. Fennel is sitting here on my desk looking at me right now. He's waiting for the show to start. Fennel is a nice treat. Yes, Fennel is. Well, I, I, I mean, <laughs> he is a cuddly boy. He is a happy boy. But he is not a treat. This is not trying. Sorry, that might have been the Asian. Yeah, coming out. I can say that. No, it's just, um, no, but, um, uh, uh, I guess I can say that, uh, no, it's just, in regards to our other show, uh, aside from this show, I am good to go on our discussion with friends, so I am ready to discuss that. No, I just realized I was muted. <laughs> These guys were ignoring me. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you gotta, you gotta manually unmute yeah. yourself. Okay. I feel like we've we've already talked about too many things. It's supposed to be about nothing. Wow. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the whole the whole like hashtag nothing show was just supposed to be a uh, general discussion kind of thing where we could just okay. talk about whatever. Anything you can't and talk about nothing. You have to talk about something. Well, it's just general discussion. We can talk about anything. I had a, I had a, a, a great, 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 great grandfather that was a general, for the South though. Yeah. But anyway, last name Hunt. Well, yeah. Speaking of that, that's a speaking. Yeah, because it sounds like that kind of a name. I actually have oh. something that I can talk about that I actually don't want to discuss during the countdown. That Not I me. Like, I would like to bring up that is actually an origin for why my name is Charles. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's the person I'm named after. Oh, I thought it's because your mother threw up all the time. No. That's cruel. No. It's, it, I mean, the, the, man, that, um, the <laughs> man that I am named after. Yeah, it's, uh, it's my great-grandfather. I'm named after my great-grandfather. That's cool. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say any more than that because um, I don't want to say it during the countdown. I want to say it while everybody else can see me. So yeah. Oh yeah, where is where is Becky? Tell her Charles is here. Well, yeah, I know I know the meaning behind the name Charles V. I know that, but um. No, I just, like, um, my name, like, Charles, actually was originally the name of my great-grandfather, and I'm named after him. Fremen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Fremen, that's also a reference to uh, Dune. Three, two, one. Yeah, Dune. We're yeah. live. Yeah. We're live. Oh, Yay, we're live. Okay, hey. yeah. But uh, uh, do, you, do you guys want to, do you guys, like, uh, okay, so... Uh, Welcome to the hashtag nothing show, everybody. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Welcome hey. back. Hi. It's been a long time, but you know what that means? You know what we forgot to do? What? What did we forget? The theme song. Charles Whedon. The theme Kick song. it. This is the hashtag nothing show. You have been corrupted. We cannot help you. No, we cannot help you. 
you are thirsty, there's nothing to drink here, we cannot help you, only you can help you, we are nothing, cartoon talk, uneducated political debate, that's what you got here, so turn away now, don't watch this broadcast, nothing will come from it, turn off your internet, this is the hashtag nothing show, hashtag nothing show, nothing show, nothing show, nothing show, nothing show. Thank you. Good that <laughs> that never gets old. Oh man, I fucking love that. Now, is that new or is that something old that you dug back out? Oh no, that's old. Really? That's wow. old. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Um Jim here, at least I think it was Jim that did it. Um, it had to have been Jim. Jim does all yeah. sorts of weird, great shit like that. Oh uh, no, but uh Jim went on it was Fiverr, right? Fiverr.com. Fiverr? C correct. Yeah, right. Fiverr.com. He went on to that website and paid somebody uh, to create that for us. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Paid him five, five bucks. Five paid bucks? Him paid him you got five your money's bucks. worth out of that. <laughs> yeah, paid him five bucks to create that for us. Yeah. Cool. How long ago would you say that was? I don't really remember. It was like six uh, years ago. I bet I could yeah, look right yeah, on the YouTube channel. Yeah, somewhere. probably about five or six years I bet ago. You could look. Yeah. Yeah, uh, around that. Yeah. So that means, well, man, I, I. Oh. It was posted five years ago. I can't figure out how to mute and unmute my fucking mic today. Oh man, what the hell? Yeah, but no, it's just. I mean, first time I ever saw that, I thought it was the coolest shit ever. I thought it was like, holy crap, we're actually we made it, we did it, guys, we're famous. <laughs> like, a puppet is singing our two tune. thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually yeah, probably got a little overly excited about it. I was, I was, I was, I was really happy that we did that. And then, of Aww. course, when Jim brought that back recently, I kind of got hit with a wave of nostalgia, going like, "Oh man, I haven't seen that in forever." <laughs> what does it say See, about I'm... life's simple pleasures? That's a simple pleasure, right? Yeah, yeah, it's it's the little things. Yeah, it's it just stresses things. me a little bit because what he you know, he paid five dollars for that cool theme song and the puppet thing and all so i i can't charge anyone for anything unless i get to that level jesus <laughs> maybe inflation you could charge about well, 10 I mean, bucks now you yeah. could well, probably I mean, charge I, a I, I, don't, more. I think i think on the website fiverr you don't even pay anybody five bucks for anything on that website now i think you have to pay them like what like closer to like 15 or 20 bucks now oh it's way okay. more than that on fiverr now it, yeah it's really crazy. okay yeah yeah because yeah. it's, it's not five bucks now i know that no i mean it's bad enough when you walk into a supermarket you walk out with a small bag and they say 100 bucks it's like what the hell well it's <laughs> it's like it's like walking it's, into it's the bad. dollar it's like walking into the dollar store and exactly, you, see, exactly. you see shit for like 10, 15, 20 bucks, sometimes yeah. even 30 bucks. I and thought like, you were shit. a dollar store. <laughs> exactly. It's just like I was like, this place is no. nothing but a bunch of fucking hypocrites. I'm like, it's like this is a goddamn ripoff. It's like, I mean, I, I've always hated going to the dollar store because there's, they're a bunch of fucking liars. There's probably something in this small print saying at least 50% of the merchandise on the shelf has to be a dollar or less. <laughs> but the rest yeah, of it could be as expensive as they want to make it. it it's basically a, a joke of itself nowadays. Although I still laugh my ass off because I, I, I read somewhere that the Canadian equivalent of the dollar store is called the Looney Bin. <laughs> and because because um because their dollar is is like the, the, uh, their, loony, oh, yeah. the loony, is the loony yeah. okay. and the british equivalent oh, that's clever the british yeah. equivalent of their dollar store is called the pound palace see i thought yeah uh, it it was because you're crazy if you go shopping there if you think you're yeah. gonna get anything of quality yeah. but and charles remember the star trek episode with who was the who's the starfleet officer that was a really marquee that went rogue that that hey, uh, Cisco... hey, wrong show new guy number hey, two no yeah, right. we new guy number this was... one was already trying to promote his band and now you're coming along trying to promote your other podcast i was told anarchy. this was a general store of podcasts that you could bring <laughs> up I, 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 look i remember i remember who you're talking about um i remember who you're talking about but i can't remember his name i do right. i do i do i do yeah his name well who is it I watched Star Trek Edgington. Enterprise last Ed night. Edgington. Yep. That's, it. Edgington. That's right. Edgington. Right. Edgington. I said yeah. Edgington. Well, said no, Ed. Ed. He I said he had Ed. a lucky loony. Eddington. 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 I said Eddington. Edgington. 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 Edg
So he was he was a Canadian, I guess. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, Eddington. Yeah, I wasn't it beautiful? Eddington. Yeah, Eddington. I remember him, and he was a freaking asshole. And my fa- one of my favorite episodes in that show is, is that when Cisco decides to render an entire planet lifeless. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> just so Eddington and the other Maquis were forced to evacuate. Exactly. And he didn't kill anybody, but he didn't make it he didn't easy kill for anybody. Either, right? He didn't kill anybody. He gave them an opportunity to evacuate the planet, but he still rendered the planet lifeless. <laughs> I was like, I know, whoa! And it, I know. and it was reduced to absolutely nothing of life. Yep. See? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah. were allowed. They oh, got they good escaped. Job, they, they got guy. away. Good job, but... new guy. Pat yourself on the back for that one. Yeah. I was like, "What the fuck did you just do, Cisco?" <laughs> I was like, "Whoa!" The, yeah. Listen, guys, tune in. Um, Sunday nights is the regular night on Alpha Potterants when these yeah. two talk Deep Space Nine. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> yeah. You got because because you, you know what? I'm almost caught up to you guys. I started Enterprise last night, and I'm going. Oh, Enterprise is great. So I'll be. I'm. I'm just saying. I'll be in the Thanks conversation. Thanks for the franchise, Bacula. You, yeah, no, come on. Wonderful. Take it easy but on Scott. Bacula. I'll be joining the conversation with you guys real soon. Easy. I'm because yeah. you know. I'm sure I'll be talking Deep Space Nine real soon. Yeah. Now, all I can hear in my head is Deep Space Nine. Nine. And yeah. I, I've been thinking nine. about like a, a nine, German nine, version. Nine, 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 nine. Deep Space. <laughs> Nine, nine. Well, I will say one more thing, and we can go on to a different topic other than Star Trek at this point. But no, I saw a documentary don't. recently like on YouTube about 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 uh, Enterprise, and they were saying that not only was it uh, a series that was kind of doomed from from the get go, the people, the showrunners didn't want to do the show, and and it really it it was just very sloppily dealt with it's a good documentary charles and it would, you'd probably enjoy it because they mm-hmm. give the reasons why it, it got shot down you know after four seasons i mean even berman wasn't really very behind it i think the, it, it, they were saying they were all burnt out i think that was a big part of it that all the writers brandon braga who they brought on for it to, you know to help save at this point did a good job with it but like i said he said we were burnt out oh and that's we've been so down. successful I and know. all of our things have we're been written so pu- much money oh, yeah. i just can't How bad do, do it anymore i'm burnt uh, out you know oh. what that re- you know what that reminds me of it's when you have like this is going to be a reference to video games but it's like you have a popular like video game ip intellectual property the fan base absolutely loves the video game. They're highly anticipating it. They're very excited for when yep. the game comes out. And then spontaneously, the game gets canceled. For like, There's no explanation that the game's development is canceled. And then all of a sudden, like months down the road or a year down the road, the developers or the people in charge of the development explain, oh, the reason why it got canceled is... It just wasn't fun anymore. Space. Oh, it just got too hard. God. And I'm like, Aww. are you fucking kidding me? It's game development. It's not exactly. supposed exactly. to be easy. It's not supposed to be fun. Yeah. The I mean, fun comes after it's yeah. done. I mean, it's just like, are you freaking kidding me? I mean, do they think cancer doctors, you know, researchers that are trying to take and find a cure for cancer – Go home at the end of the day. Oh, this just isn't a challenge. I don't enjoy it anymore. So fuck it. I'm I'm going to give up. Yeah, everyone exactly. can have cancer. It's yeah, not. Exactly. It's, it's, it it's not like they way. just milk a monkey and they're like, oh, cancer's cured, <laughs> or they give up. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Grab this off this tree. Maybe that'll cure a cancer. It's not supposed to be fun. Exactly. It's the not fun. To, it's comes a job after the work exactly. is finished. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what the Amish say, um, the dream doesn't start until you wake up and start living it. I can't deal with this live monitor. I'm going to punch it. Well, yeah, what's but a, no, what's the matter just, with I mean, it? I just, I, 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 it? It's I got a latency and it's coming excuse. back, so I hear huh. myself a half a second after I speak. It, it's annoying. That's probably where you're... But um, comes from. just just like side Wing. thing here, and I'm sure I sure I'm sure our audience is really like waiting with <laughs> bated breath. That they, they can't want, wait to get rid of me. <laughs> uh, they they wanted to uh, they wanted to hear my little story about my uh, about my great grandfather. Like yes, why why I hear uh, the story? Why why? Well, my uh, my great grandfather, who of course obviously is no longer with us, he uh, he passed away many many years ago when I was just a kid. 
Uh, we, peace. Uh, he, uh, we called him Grandpa Chip. That's what we called him. We called him Grandpa Chip. Uh, I do, um, I don't that- remember. I don't remember uh, what his last name was, but um, his first name obviously was Charles. Uh, but um, he served in the military, uh, and he was he was a veteran of World War II, and he also was on the beach at Normandy. Wow! Like, That's yeah, very cool. he, yeah, That's, yeah. If you watch realistic representations of that it was that was no picnic they, they made it out to be so glorious over the years but i mean a lot of people were brutally killed or maimed or or both normandy was not a pretty place so yeah yeah, yeah. god damn that's that's he, yeah he he survived the beaches he survived, the beach of, he survived the beach of normandy and as far as i know he had no injuries none good man He's, yeah. he survived it unscathed and uh yeah it's just uh he he from i i i kind of remember him because i was very young when he was still alive but um i remember him being a a very a very pleasant guy like he was he was very nice he he also had a pretty good sense of humor that helps he he had a very good sense of humor and um yeah it's just he was from what i remember he was a great guy and uh apparently i was named after him yeah I was. I awesome. was named after him. So yeah. now, what? Your father or his father? Neither one uh, named Charles. Uh, no, no. He was my great grandfather on my mother's side. Oh, mother's side. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my grandparents on my father's side, my biological father's side, uh, they were both dead. Uh, well, my grandmother on my mother on my father's side was alive when I was born, but she right. died when I was still a baby. Gotcha. Uh, my grandfather on my father's side was dead before I was born. Oh, wow. So I never met him. Yeah. The only thing I know about my grandparents on my father's side is that they met in World War II. Uh, my fa- my grandfather on my father's side was a soldier in the in the British military. Oh, cool. And, and my cool. grandmother, which was named gr- my grand my grandma Nan. Uh, she was a nurse. She was a nurse. And when my grandfather on my father's side was injured in combat, he was at, um, at triage and they met, uh, when she was treating him for their, oh, for wow. This is like a movie. Yeah, <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. That's very... they, yeah. They a met story. <laughs> yeah. They met when she was wow. treating him for his injuries. That's cool. Yeah. And my father was born in 1947. Yeah, yeah. My my the, my my father's birth year was 1947. 47, right? Yeah, yeah. Right after the war. Yeah. Yeah. My old man was born in 29, so that was like 18 years before that. And by the time yeah. he was old enough to serve any place, he was literally, I think, it was like 1947. So it was it was between the after the end of World War II and before uh, Korea. Mm-hmm. So he was lucky. So he just. He was in the service down at Fort Dix. I remember that in Jersey. Yeah. He's but no, it's there. just, um, no, it's just. Yeah, that's not, that's very cool. That's oh, very yeah. Cool. It's just, uh, but no, I never knew my grandparents on my father's side. And my father does, never had any siblings. So I didn't have any, any aunts or uncles on his side. Uh, he had a couple of cousins that I met. Uh, he had a cousin, but they all lived on the West Coast. And I only met them like once or twice. <laughs> Are you ready to be drafted for World War Three? I'm too old. I think I'm pretty sure Kish might be a little. Yeah, sixty-five too as well. is, is really up there, man. You know, they could um, use me for I don't know a doorstop. I don't know what the cutoff <laughs> is anymore, though. I thought it was it got raised to about thirty-five. It used to start at eighteen. I thought yeah. it was eighteen to twenty-five at least when. And and when I was growing up, trust me, we dodged it because, like I said, there were periods right before I was old enough and right after I was old enough where I could have been, you know, you go you go into the service, you know, whether there's a war or not. And uh, I I was lucky. So you you, you talk about your timing because I trust me, I thought about Canada. <laughs> I I said I don't want to die. I don't want to go to war. If, you know, if I can help it. But now um, I I apologize to Charles Whedon if I seem like I was. Uh vacant but i was looking for this because i'm a little confused which grandpappy whedon is this 
Hmm? Uh. From the plantation <laughs> who helped no. uh, Stone escape. You got they escaped together. Wow. Oh my is god! This a, is it the same Grandpa <laughs> Pete Weeden, or is this his father? Seems I can't very, very racist. I mean, I can barely read it, but it looks racist to me. Oh no, it, they're literally talking about tea time and foot rubs. And, really? Uh, oh. Yeah, Stone Are doesn't you want serious? to escape. I thought I thought you got rid of this. That could be worse I, than I racist. Just, it took me a while to find it just now, but <laughs> that's there. Oh, that's what you've been doing. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my yeah. God! Wait, wait a minute! Wait, a, hold on oh. a second. It, Stone is not here to defend himself yeah. either. You still have a Google <laughs> oh, yeah. Plus page? No, that's not racist at all, man. <laughs> 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 not your massa. <laughs> there we go. I don't. I don't want to read this. <laughs> It could be clipped for later. Now you know that kind of yam is done makes me all taps of uncomfortable and what's not. Cut it out, you big old silly goose. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nope. Not racist to talk. You know, about it is so right. fortunate that Stone is not here. <laughs> <laughs> he could read his part. Wow. They're going on an adventure. What? It's wholesome. Ah. Poppycock. No, wow. No. Yeah, but no, I didn't even How know that episodes? Google Plus was still a th- Wait, is this Google Plus? No. Um, look, then you guys killed Nazis together. Wow. Somebody had a lot of free time on their hands, I can see. Look at that. You turned me into goddamn Rambo. <laughs> God. And I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think it was possible, but you made stone blacker <laughs> than he normally is. I'm black and I'm black. And I'm, black. Ah, I'm blacker and I'm, I'm blacker and I'm blacker. Down. <laughs> I did not. Really... That sounded racist <laughs> alone. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Shit. Uh, where's stone? I'm upset. Yeah, well, he'll be he'll be here soon. I hope. Boy you Damien. Know, I hope I hope Damien shows up. He's con- Damien's in bed. He's no. can. Uh, yeah, Damien's you. probably not going to show up. No, no. Stone I has confessed in to lurking I don't blame in the him. chat from time to time to make sure things aren't too saucy for moments like that. You gotta watch. That was bad. That was wow, man. That was an that was a way. I never call. realized how bad that stone face Didn't was. Need this. Really, me right off. <laughs> Maybe you just become a little more sensitive to it, like all of us. Were, a little more <laughs> maybe, aware, maybe, maybe perhaps. I'm getting hey. woke. I don't know because I'm offended. I am highly offended by this image. <laughs> that image is wow. Bad. Yeah, that is that is disturbing. It's. it's I mean, you are shooting <laughs> Nazi skeletons, so so I guess wait, they're. Wait, that's all I was now. focused on. No, 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 no. Go back. Go back to me. Oh. In that. <laughs> you narcissist. Actually, there you look What's... like Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> yeah, I, I do look like Weird Al Yankovic from UHF. Yeah. From UHF. Yeah, exactly. What's what? You nailed it. You nailed oh, are those dog tags? Is that what that is? No, 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 no. That's it's like the, a turquoise that's... fucking hippie bead. No, 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 no. That's the pick of destiny from Tenacious D in the Pick of Destiny. No, no, that's something Kish has under his beard. Hey, hey that was uncalled for. Beard. Beard. Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you, Grindle. Yes, sir. You, you went to a job interview with a man bun. Because I noticed that earlier. I thought maybe you cut your hair. And, nope. and they, wow. I sure did. Wow. I can give you credit, man. How'd you get away with it? Or or did they, they just didn't uh, care? It was a female. And, and, and ladies love cool right. J. All right. Cool that's, Jay. That's, that's me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I remember those glasses. Can you, <laughs> you walk around being like, oh, Cool Jay's here, ladies. Don't worry. I do. As, I sure do. I walk around I don't, cock forward. Cool I don't Jay. even have those glasses anymore. I threw those away years ago. <laughs> yeah. are, are those really your glasses, huh? Yeah, those are. I used to have those glasses like ten years ago. My old and man I, had a pair like that, the black rims like that. My old oh my old man. My old man had astigmatism and he couldn't get contacts. He couldn't get contacts back then for astigmatism. So but he always you know, like I said, those big black not horn rim, but just the thick black frames. Well, I mean I I like thick black frames like that. I mean, I'm still wearing glasses like that even now, but um 
No, it's just, I mean, I've always liked them because I think I look good with yeah. glasses like that. Yeah. But, uh, and I don't need these for driving. This is merely for reading and seeing the PC. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to read anything. But driving, nothing. Sunglasses, that's all I put on. Oh, no. If I if I take these off right now. You're legally I blind? Can, yep, pretty much. Wow, I mean, okay. I'm looking. I'm no, looking my wife's at the my, same way. I'm looking at my computer right now. I'm looking at the interface right, of StreamYard. Right, right. I can't make out the details of any of your faces. Wow. Uh, just from this, from from the distance of where I'm sitting right now to where my monitor is, I I can't make out Jim's face, Luke's face, your face, Kish, or even my face. I can't. <laughs> you I can't wear contacts out... ever? Nope. Wow. Okay, that's cool. That's no, cool. I I am basically blind without my glasses. Wow. I mean, hell, what, what? I mean, I can clearly say that that <laughs> see that V put up something on, down. on the interface. Uh, Calm down, v. Yeah. But our, I I our cannot... fans are the best. I cannot see what he said. I Big can't. and thick black. Yeah. So you can't see Luke looking ridiculous like risky business right now. Nope. I think he's <laughs> I think he's wearing glasses of some kind, but I just I, I can't make out what kind of glasses. See. Is it sunglasses, Luke? I think. Yes, yes. Now I, I just went to the eye doctor a few days ago. And he did tell me, he said, he asked me my age and I told him and he said, aha, you're yeah. in the time where exactly. you've been nearsighted. Time for the finger? No, <laughs> wrong doctor, eye doctor. And, and believe it or not, you can't <laughs> get LASIKs to, eye? you can't get LASIKs to correct reading glass, you know, like oh, I said, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those, but he said those, bifocals, those, but it's time for bifocals. And I said, not yet. I'm okay. I'm okay. Not right now. Oh, I got a those, pair of progressives. I never wear them. Those sunglasses were not the sunglasses I thought you were wearing. Oh, like this? Yeah. I thought you were wearing the uh, sunglasses All that right. kind of go across the thing, and they look like um, like Jordy. They look like uh, <laughs> do, they look like douchebag sunglasses. They look like Stevie Wonder specials. Well, oh. speaking of douchebag, um, Ooh, and with comments oh no. like oversized lenses are hot. Before we bowl, burn a hole in the internet with this glasses talk. I got a little treat. I got a little treat. Before oh, we barrel I like forward surprises. with the future, it, it's best we take a little little taste, one more little taste of the past. I mean, we had a little already with that, but this one's uh, for Mr. Charles Whedon here. Oh. Uh, you want the nostalgia, buddy? Well, here it goes. A long time ago, we had a troll named Toby, and he oh, used no. to do some terrible things. Um, to everybody in the group, but one time, one which Toby, time, which Toby are you talking Toby about? One OG Toby. Oh, fuck <laughs> Oliver. really? But that one time, he did that one wonderful thing that Charles loves. Yes, I'm the host. Uh. Wow, who's that young man? <laughs> oh boy, who's that young man? Holy moly, he yeah, has a beard that's. Prop black. Oh no. Sometimes oh. bad people do good things. I love those old Hitler youth tunes. They're great. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> wow. Charles could have been a Hitler youth. He's got that look. Oh, all the different adult themes, the racism, all that stuff. We should we should look at the top of your shelf and black. see how many you things are the same. Oh, that was a long time ago. Good lord. You don't help it on that story again? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't like the big street because there weren't, I mean, there weren't any black people. I explained to you, not once, not twice, not three times, but four goddamn times, who has access to that technology would completely ignore the butterfly effect. They would completely like ignore it. They'd go up and be like, ooh, this is so cool. Oh, what that I stepped on? It's a goddamn butterfly that's going to start creating ripples of time and it's going to end up changing our present. I mean, the level of arrogance. Goddamn think, butterfly. Oh, we have a right to travel to the past. Really? Bitch, go fuck yourself. You think that. Change. Because oh, it's, the time. It's, it's, it's the same thing that people say. If I, if I had the ability to travel Fuck you, back Luper. Time, if we had the <laughs> If we had the ability to travel back in time, we I would go back in time and kill Adolf Hitler. It's like, really? 
Okay? So let's say you go back to the 1940s where you go into Adolf Hitler's office, you put a bullet in his head, and guess who fucking replaces him? Heinrich Himmler. And Heinrich Himmler. Charles Lee. Heinrich Himmler is a big Nazi party. Guess what? Nazis win World War II, and we'll be speaking German. So, yeah, it's just. I'm sorry. Just time travel pisses me off like because people time. refuse to uh, refuse to wake the fuck Wait. up and see that if Wait. they do travel in time, they will create <laughs> ripples in time that will cause irreparable da damage the further it goes closer to the present, and they could end up erasing their own existence. Time travel, in my opinion, should be illegal, and punishment should be <laughs> severe. <laughs> <laughs> like the Vulcans, there's no time travel. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Verbal <laughs> That was a little extra added in, Charles. Yeah, I oh man! <laughs> it had to have a little just, something. Just an hour to add that extra one All second right. to the. <laughs> You've convinced me, Fuhr. I have two questions. One, how long ago? Secondly, same room. <laughs> Six, yeah, seven same years. Room. Same room. <laughs> but no, how? Like that I love not... Charles Whedon just for that fucking video. I love Charles Whedon. <laughs> God. Jesus and Christ. punishment should be severe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God! The more it hurts, the more they love you. You have to look at it that way. That's yeah, I yeah. Like. I know. I know. God damn. Whatever I do, it just it never just goes away. It's like, oh no! It's like there goes Charles Weed and ooh. <laughs> Jim, there goes Charles. That I see there was even a black cure. gentleman that preceded Stone. Who's that black gentleman? Oh, that's Isaiah. <laughs> that's Isaiah. That was well, terrible. He, he preceded Stone, right? Well, um, I'm, I'm your first old man. You've never had an old man, so like I said, I'm unique. Well, yeah. uh, well but, we had uh, a, a fat pork pie of an old man. Um, <laughs> that better not be me. <laughs> no, no, no. You're 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 much nicer than that. No, but no, I'm a nice uh, pork pie. no. Isaiah Isaiah was actually the guy that introduced me to Jim here. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah. And I met Isaiah in a rest stop. <laughs> well, yeah. Ooh, that, I don't know. We'll say that, that story for more... another night. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I would. Should it have more details? <sighs> was that video not details enough? I've been trying to convince <laughs> Charles that his buddy's a homosexual for a decade now, and he won't believe me. I really don't think Isaiah is gay. He's a gay man. <laughs> I use gay him. name. I, I, well, I love well, the guy. He's wonderful. But I used to say everything he would say, I would be like, so have you come out to your parents yet? Or something along <laughs> that line. You know, that's probably why he won't talk to us anymore. <laughs> probably, probably. Probably. He, he probably tunes in sometimes point. to our programs. He's been around this year in 2023. He says hello in the chat. Yeah, oh, that's okay. all he says. Okay. Well, well, look how you were treating him in that time. If you, were, you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me, Isaiah. I told you not once, not twice, not three times, but four goddamn times. Yeah. Isaiah, don't call me Massa. <laughs> guys oh, asked for that one. <laughs> you know what? No, I mean, Isaiah was basically my best friend. In That's the whole, in the whole thing. He was basically my best friend. And you can the other half and you can dump on your friends. We all dump on mm -hmm. each other. Well, yeah, exactly. But exactly. no, it's just, I mean, I, exactly. you know, I missed the guy. I liked hanging Aww. out with him. He was a good. He was a good kid. But and just, I was just trying to help with the homosexual stuff. I think well, he my, should uh, yeah, live of his, course his, his life. He comes from a very repressed Christian family. He needs to go out there and Be tug happy. on the peckers. <laughs> That's what he wants. That's what he needs. Uh. I, I'm telling you, dude. I really don't Good think he was face. gay. And you know what? There was that one time where we had that. Sent him the uh, cops that, pick. I know, but no, no, no. There, there was that one time where we were discussing. <laughs> it's a one warm show, story when you tell it, Jim. And we had that. We had that. Uh, that black woman that was joining us in our discussion. She died. I, could, I don't think she's dead. Yeah, dude. show probably killed her. Pretty sure the Felicia lady. I recently Felicia seen lady. she died. So a Geeks of the Round member has died. I think. No, 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 no. You're talking about the older woman, right? 
old black lady? I'm not talking about her. It, this was a young woman, probably college age, and um, she was um, she was like talking with us because that's that'll help. Well, there was no, 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 no. Th this was like uh, I would say she'd probably be like early twenties is how old she was, and uh, I remember she was in our discussion. She was in our discussions with uh, with one of our shows that we were discussing. I can't remember what it was, but um, I remember that she and Isaiah were really hitting it off. Like they were really like talking, like work, like talking off of each other, and they were like having good conversations. And I just sat back, going like, "Huh." <laughs> well, I mean, they they have you never heard of a? I'm sorry, what? I said, have you never heard of a? Oh. How about you say it without the auto tune? I think it was the I F said, word. It was the F word. Have you never heard of a fag? Oh, I like the oh. world, sir. Effect. Oh my God, fag hag. Fag -hag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know, you could have just as easily have said that without the auto tune. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have been as fun. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fag hag. Okay, Boys yeah. playing with his toys. I don't. God damn it! It always it always boils back to him being gay. Okay, it's just like <laughs> he's. You he, know, I, 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 I look. I mean, he's. I don't think he's gay. I really don't think he is. Maybe he's not. I wish he was here to to, to speak his truth. I didn't want to say defend himself. <laughs> One should. So, as someone himself. who's who's been called gay plenty of times, just because you do the bind, high school, just because you gay. do drama in high school, that's what they like yep. to say. Oh, yeah. You know, drama, drama. Uh, so, oh, drama. Yeah, it's not so bad because he obviously like that means like that cock. you're. You're attractive and sexy. That's what people think of you if they think you're gay. I mean, it's really, it's it's the straight guys no, who are like wishing you were. No, 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 no. If you're if you're if you are a man and you're attractive and sexy, that's when they think you're gay. But if you're a woman, they just think you're hot and they want to take you to bed. So I just must be that hot, or at least I was when I was a kid. They all thought I was that gay boy. Mm. I don't. Yeah. So when you were a kid, everybody wanted to fuck you. Is what you're saying? I guess so, and now everyone else wants to fuck me in different ways. Great. Isn't that weird? Isn't that yes. Weird? They yeah. also wanted to do Corey Heim, too. Ooh. It's that Mo Howard haircut is really what attracts <laughs> everyone to, to you, Luke. Oh, they yeah. think you're they think you're mentally challenged. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, well, He's an easy I mean, mark. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, when I when I was uh like younger and even into adulthood, it's like I didn't have that problem because nobody wants me. Ha ha See I, I tried to oh. do it, but yeah. Well, here, here, let's uh let's see. Hi Charles, it's me, Becky. <laughs> I want you. Oh no! I think you're very sexy. Want to see my boobies? Wow! Come on! What? Oh. Hold on, let me pull my ankle socks down. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. Come on! <laughs> I'm saying because she's old and has old titties. It's not fucked up. It's just something. Because they're tucked <laughs> into her socks. Just, that's more like kind of a harsh call that's there. Tucked into what? her socks. It's an exaggeration. <laughs> they probably only go to the top of the belly button. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, yeah. That's very kind of you. <laughs> oh, that's so wrong on so many levels. I hope she's had her gummies today. Yeah. <laughs> she says you can't you better hope she's had her without them. <laughs> I hope oh, all you go. out there in uh, listener land have had your gummies today, your Flintstone chewable vitamins, brought to you by Charles Whedon's Tobacco Farm of Truth. I didn't say that right. It's been a long time, uh, but you can get only the finest Whedon's Tobacco of Truth, harvested yeah. by legal Mexicans for a long, long time by the Whedon family on the Whedon family yeah. plantation. Uh, so, yep, you can order it from uh, tinyurl.com slash piss goblin. I forgot. Every you can single get all your good Goblin. weed and products there. Even. 
Yeah, Every single Mexican name. was legal. Every single one. Well. Uh, even the babies they had in the barn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> babies in the barn. You know, is this Thank racist? Jesus. I don't think it is because there's a woman at work who my woman has befriended and uh, to refer to her, I call her rice lady. Um, racist. She's Asian, yes. Racist, but racist, it, racist. But, 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 but she, the, the reason why is I know of her through a story of her growing up on a rice field, uh, smoking cigarettes at five to keep the mosquitoes away. So a uh, uh, rice patty lady is what, because I don't know her name, it's it's very weird. Uh, so I you don't the, call her that to her face, patty lady. No, but in <laughs> reference, there's a good, lot of good, Asians, good. and start. when I have to refer to this, I say, "Do you mean rice patty lady?" I think and that I, brings felt out racist, HR if you but, call her that. What? I think that brings out HR if you call her that. Well, yeah, I did it. I did it. <laughs> I made sure I was in the stairwell where no one could hear. I can I can imagine you with your list of demands. Can I call people this, 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 and this, <laughs> and keep my job, <laughs> and keep my job? Is, is, is intent matters. It's hey, I, you're preaching to the choir. I I know it's about intent. You know, funny is funny, hate is hate, but funny is funny. And I'm not and even that, trying to be funny yeah, here. It's a real and, story. And it's about not hate her, either. Uh, it's not hate. and and rice patties. Yeah. It's comical, but it's, I don't think it's hateful. It could be comical in the way it's presented, but it also... Is that the stereotype? I, born in a rice patty? I feel shame about it. I don't know. What is, yeah, it is a rice patty? You could, I've never... could possibly see it that way. <laughs> you know. I get, it's like a, is it like a cranberry bog only with, with rice plants. So is that what you call Massachusetts people? Like fucking cranberry <laughs> boggers? But, uh, yeah, you know, it's like cranberry bucks. It's like associating specific foods with sp specific racial groups at this point, you know? Is it racist? Well, if it was for Asians, I would go more like fish eaters or something. But, you uh, could, yeah. The Japanese eat a lot eat a lot of raw fish. All Asians <laughs> eat weird food. <laughs> They're healthy. Puffer fish. What did I see? There was a um there was a video where dolphins <clears throat> will take puffer fish and start to mess with them a little bit so they'll release some of their poison and they basically get high off of it they'll 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 take just enough of that poison in to to get a little tipsy and swim around and get crazy oh Dolphins like botox so cool. <laughs> like botox like botox. Yeah, a little bit my lips there will make me feel better yeah, well, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't at all know what you're talking why about, do people Luke? inject poison into themselves i like i said that's one of those one of those universal questions because it does some good i'm going you're doing good. You're doing a little cosmetic. I don't know if we can right. talk about this, right? Well, what Are kind of? Yeah, it's oh, medical wait, advice. Oh, I don't know oh, what oh, you guys. Well, I'm not a poison. doctor, so I don't know what got you guys are talking about um, uh, injecting poison or whatever the hell it is. I, but I, I recently watched an Amish talk about, and this is not medical advice, but he was talking about eating poison ivy. You eat a little bit of the leaf one week, and then the next Ooh. week you eat a little more, and then. For a few weeks, you do that until your body um, acclimates to the poison yeah. ivy, and then you can walk through it. You can eat it. You could wipe your asshole with it. No problemo. Probably like bee stings, kind of the same thing. If you get enough of them, your body after a while is like, yeah, I, I know what that is. Uh, the, the doctors told me the opposite on that <laughs> because I got stung by a whole nest, and they told me that most likely if I got stung again, I'd be allergic and have a deathly oh, reaction. Oh, yeah. It's, so, yeah. So it's different with with toxins from like insects, I guess. Co oh, toxins. Well, it, well, it's a poison. I mean, what, what's a toxin? You know, toxin what's poison, a, you know, complain semantics. A, no, not toxic, a toxin. Oh, I think oh. poisons are toxins. I think they're kind of synonymous. Well, <laughs> I'm yeah, sure. Why two most, guys up in a hurry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just uh, that that moment of silence was brought to you by dead air. <laughs> so dead air. I, I really do have a bad poison ivy thing. Uh, and I didn't for years, though. Um, he used to just, masturbate frequently to the film series Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy 2, <laughs> Poison Ivy, a new Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy from the Batman series. Poison Ivy, no, even itchier in my crack. Richard Kish. <laughs> well, I mean, but 
one year I was I was working um, landscaping and we were clearing a bunch of stuff and there was this tarp that we were using had been used for a bunch of poison ivy like right before the week before or whatever. So we're grabbing this thing and pulling it and, you know, wiping our, our hand. you know, we, we didn't know. So the dude I was with, this guy, Paul, he, I guess, has it. He gets it really bad already. And um, his entire face blew up like oh. he was completely co- He looked like some sort of monster at, at one point. Just oh, yeah. Of how much oh, yeah. how crazy he looked after yeah. this poison ivy. And then that year is when I started getting it. Wow. So I think I got an overexposure to it on my skin and it couldn't fight it off. And now when I when I do get it, it spreads quick. I think I, when you're younger reason, also, ugh. sometimes you can get things more easily. And then later in life, they say your body chemistry changes every seven years. Seven years. Yeah. When my brother, my older brother was like in his a- adolescent. We, I remember we, we took this family trip to Hershey, Pennsylvania. I remember we were driving through the, these uh, what looked like fields. And, and we found out later on it was fields of poison ivy. He within 10 minutes or so blew up. I mean, like an alien. I mean, he was mm-hmm. getting it in the air. Yeah. That's, that's how bad it was. And that's how allergic he was to it. So, like I said, he, he probably lucky he didn't die. <laughs> we still yeah. made it to Hershey though. Jesus. I still had my chocolate, but. Uh, well, some people like that guy I was talking about, he, uh, if, if someone's burning it and the smoke gets in him, he's screwed. Oh, oh yeah. Because oh, he yeah. gets, he gets it so bad already. Inhaling yes. it can't be good. Like that no. can't be good. I mean, getting it on your skin topically is bad enough. Like, in any any time I get like a couple tiny little bumps that are right next to each other, I I just I I freeze. I'm like, oh no, I can't touch. I, I got to go get something to cover it or whatever. Just well, gotta, the thing uh, is, once once you break out, you can't spread it on yourself. You you do it initially by touching the oil and touching your skin. Once you yeah. have it, you can't spread it yourself and you can't give it to anybody. So I know yeah, it's a, that yeah. that misnomer because I used to think. Oh God! It's and it'll get all wet and whatnot. You're afraid it's going to spread. No, it's going to spread anyway. So, Ugh. yeah, I know. Ugh. Poison ivy is not pleasant. Stings by hornets, which I got a couple of years ago, are not pleasant. I remember Levy Ooh. got got stung also. Oh yeah, the area just in, gets it, it uh, uh, swells up and it gets very itchy and painful. It's like painful and itchy, which mm-hmm. is worse. And like I said, it, it's not pleasant. And, and I had more of a reaction to it, not anaphylactic, but I had more of a, a reaction to it uh, than I thought I was going to have. So, yeah, you got to watch incest things. They're not pleasant. Yeah, well, wasps are kind of dirty anyway. They Mud wasps and there's yeah. like ground wasps and they're, they're in, you know, they're not like bees are up in their hive and it's kind of right. clean and, right. and they're, ca- they're gathering stuff out of flowers all the time. They're not really that dirty. And right. And unless, unless you mess with a bee, a bee's not going to bee is not aggressive by nature. Exactly. They, they're, they're, they're going to avoid you, but wasps, you need to get them with a certain vicinity and they'll take and they'll send down pheromones, not only to earmark you for themselves, but for their friends. So that, like I said, you got to watch out that's, for shit like that. Cause I remember that. I'm like, Ooh, Ooh, Ooh and boom, one. Like I said, a couple of times, I think I got stung like, and they, they can sting you more than once. A honeybee stings you once, it's dead. The, the, the stinger comes out of the bee and they die. You know, so it's a one shot deal. That's why bees aren't going to fuck with you unless you really fuck with them. Yeah, Wasp, hornets, boom, 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 man. They don't care multiple times until you're dead. Well, you know, talking about like uh, swelling up and looking like aliens, something that turned into nothing. What did you think about the alien thing, uh, Charles? These mummies that oh. came out of Peru oh, my God. or I Mexican Peruvian, we are, whatever. We, we already talked about this. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, we? no, no, we didn't. We I talked about this with Damien. Okay. Um, no, it's um, I saw this. Like Damien, like told me about this, and I saw it. I looked at um. The pictures of it on, uh, well, the only place I could find pictures of it was on the dreaded website known as The Guardian, which I was like, are you fucking kidding Mm -hmm. me? It's just like I could only find it on this goddamn website. Um, But I found it and it looked fake. 
It's like, are you kidding me? It's like, do these people actually think this is a real alien? It's like, it, it did not look real. And then, of course, like, uh, like if you look underneath the quote-unquote body, um, I, I, I saw sand or something that looked like sand. And I was like, this can't be real. It's like, I mean... Do these, do these people in the Peruvian like Senate or or the South American Senate or whatever, they were like, they they think this is real. It's like, like how do these people even have jobs? Well, this like, guy's this guy supposedly has done this before, and it's been a hoax before. But I guess these are different mummies. I don't know. It, they didn't and, look it, very real to me. I mean, but you know what, you know what it reminded me of that 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 episode of Futurama. It's like I I, I think I even made a Twitter post about it. There were uh, uh, Barnes Farnsworth walks at one point and goes, "Good news, everyone! This one's teriyaki flavored." You know, like I said, they had aliens that they had taken and turned into jerky. So <laughs> that, that 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 was the running joke with that. But that's what it looked like. It looked like those aliens from that Futurama episode. Well, and and it looked like they looked, looked like a small ET, but it also yeah. did look like some of the drawings that are in uh, some of. The Peruvian, you know, the, yeah, they look like stone figures to me. That the, the Nazca more stone like than yeah. Isn't they, that where they, they're from though? Nazca, Peru, or something? Uh, right. But I mean, if they were petrified, maybe they would look like. But they look stone like to me. Yeah. And that's exactly what I said to you, Luke, uh, about it. They look like those drawings with the big dumb hats. Yeah, which you figure maybe. Also, E.T. was derived from similar sorts of etchings, possibly. Uh, you know, I think that maybe. But and that's why it's funny that it looks exactly. Like, but it also reminded me of um, we talked about this movie a little while back. I don't remember which on which show, but uh, Munchies, the, the movie Munchies, where they found these. There were these stones, these statues from South America that looked like little creatures and when they got hit with lightning they'd come back alive they wouldn't be stone anymore and then it was a comedy a horror comedy and it was called munchies why because they would come back and munch on people yeah they were like stoner like little they were stoner gremlins basically so they called oh. them, i think that's why they called the munchies like i can't remember exactly oh, okay why. it's just an interesting name i don't know it's i mean it, it... They have, but they have doctors now that other like Mexican doctors who are saying we we just scanned it too, and it looks like it's one piece. It wasn't, it wasn't built. There's no way, and the DNA isn't the same. And uh, I don't. They're trying to hold on to it so hard. They have to let other scientists look at it, though. You can't. We're not. Sorry, we're not trusting you, Mexico. Yeah. Uh, what I find <laughs> interesting about all this news that is all of a sudden coming out years ago. The government was like, well, we don't know about this. We can't talk about it. No, it was a weather balloon. You know, there was a fucking excuse for everything. Now, all of a sudden, they've, they've, they've gone 180 and they're like, oh, yeah, look at this. This is what we found at Roswell. And it's like, you know, look, it, that's it a weather balloon again. You know, it's, 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 it's kind of hard to believe some of the stories. That's what pisses me off about all this information that's coming to light about aliens and UFOs is that they keep crisscrossing. Right. It's, it, I'm like, I'm tired of it. It's like, just give us concrete information or shut the hell right. up. Exactly. That's all I have. That's all I have to say at this right. point. And you know what I believe, Charles? I believe when you see these stories where you have the Air Force or somebody tracking something and it's, it's like a light and they see it do something in a bizarre pattern that is not explainable speed wise and pattern wise. They they're like, yeah. this is nothing we've ever seen before. That's the type of shit that I believe. It doesn't have to be this in your face. Here, here's an alien mm -hmm. <laughs> pulling this alien out of this little sarcophagus. How convenient is that? You know, it's yeah, all petrified exactly. for you. But yeah. those, those stories where you hear, you know, the air force saying that the speeds are, they're impossible, you know, impossible uh, here, you know, uh, mm -hmm. within our atmosphere, you know? Yeah. No, it's just, I mean, I don't even pay attention to these, to this, like, these evidence of aliens or UFO stuff until I see, an, like, until I see an official government representative saying 
aliens are real or we have official evidence that proves aliens or extraterrestrial civilizations exist right until right. i see that exactly. i don't pay i don't pay attention i don't i don't care no. i really don't care because the only t the only way we're going to see something that's humanoid is going to be something that is from obviously outside of our solar system possibly outside of our galaxy and you're talking travel you know travel periods of time that like i said you would have to have a warp technology or wormhole or something like that all i'm looking for at this point is let's get to the outer planets to the moons europa and like i said where we know there's an ocean and if there's an ocean a warm you know like i said a h2o ocean there's likely going to be life there because we've seen yeah. what life we have at the bottom five miles down in the, in the pacific of the atlantic at this point you know and there are microbes that'll grow in acid. You know, we've seen that on, on Earth. And they say that's a possibility under the planets also that would not seem habitable. That's the shit we should be looking into. We should be developing a probe to land on Europa, melt, go down the whatever distances. I think it's like a mile down to the ocean and then go submersible and check all that shit out. That's what we should be doing now. And we have the, yeah. we have the capability of doing that. Yeah, but we shouldn't send a man mission to Europa because no, we all saw, no, no, we, we, no. We all saw what happened in the movie Europa. We all saw what happened there. <laughs> well, we oh. saw what happened in two thousand and one too. <laughs> yeah, Jupiter no, became in the, in a the sun. Movie, Jupiter became the a movie sun Euro for for Europa. As yeah, a yeah, but no, in the movie Europa, they sent a man mission to that moon, and everybody died. And then the woman at the end of it, uh, the the water started to come up in the ship. And then there was a giant multicolored squid that grabbed a hold of the woman and then ate her. Yeah. See, and, I was yeah. gonna say that That's I've never cool. seen that movie. I've never seen it either. They they talk about how squid are possibly could be aliens because of their DNA and they can't really yeah. trace it back and things like that. So. They might have came from Europa. What if they've been around for much longer than we have fully developed? And... Well, I mean, it's not just squid. It's squid and octop octopus. Or octopus, or, yeah, yeah. Or, right. Well, I think I think the plural for octopus is octopi. Yeah, octopi. octopi. Yeah, they yeah. play on that in um, Resident Alien, the show. You guys oh, really? That? You see, yeah, I stopped watching that show. show. I've only ever seen season one. I haven't seen season two. Why well, don't stop? I don't know. I just stopped watching it. You don't find Alan Dudix funny? <laughs> <laughs> you see, I, I kind of like him at, with his role as Clayface in the Harley Quinn show, but um, uh, I don't know. I just I, I lost interest in Resident Alien, and I don't even watch network TV anymore. I mostly stick. Rarely watch it. I mostly stick with streaming services, and if I can't stream it, I generally don't watch it. Is that really network TV though? Um, it's on Sci-Fi yeah. Channel, which means it's network TV. It's cable. Yeah. It's, it's cable. cable. Yeah, it's it's yeah. It's high end, high end cable, as I call it. Yeah, high end cable. I guess I should have worded that better, but yeah. Well, you know, I should let you two know your lovely talks about oceanography and. Um, oh yeah! Speaking of oceanography, if you have a bunch of idiots that pay two hundred fifty thousand dollars to go see the Titanic at the bottom of the ocean, oh, yeah, Charles yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. kind of like yeah, kind of like the reverse Apollo one meet in the can, but it was underwater instead of being on going into space. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just I, I I know I know it's tragic what happened to those people, but I have no sympathy for them. It's like they're you go into a sub which is a cylinder yeah. that is controlled by a video game controller. Yeah. A literal into, is it a PlayStation or Xbox? No, no, no. Uh, it's, I, a, I it's, it's a Microsoft it's not, PC yeah. controller. No, 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 no. As far as I know, it was not Xbox. It was not PlayStation. <laughs> it was a third party Logitech controller. Joystick. That's, oh, that's the one. Joystick. It was, <laughs> it was a Logitech third party controller. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah. And they went into one of, if not the most dangerous environment. On... They went to the most dangerous environment on the fucking planet. Right. And lo and behold, they all fucking died. Well, and what they learned was it. it, it they didn't time... learn shit because they died. Right. Well, no, what I'm saying is, but that sub had been out before. 
So what happened was it did its job, but it got worn down. So when they went in it, you know, their number was up from, from the time they left at this point. Because when they yeah, got down oh. to a certain depth, boom. I wouldn't have gotten in the weakened. goddamn thing because of claustrophobia. I mean, it was tight was, in that fucking thing. Yeah, Fuck same that, thing. Man. Oh, and the worst part of it <laughs> is that, that. The, the, like, the safety expert for the Titan even told the CEO of that company that there were that there were secu- there, there were safety concerns. The right. CEO got annoyed with that guy, so he fired him. Yep. And yep. even when as far even when mm. as far as to get rid of the communication stuff and, and reduced it to just text messages why? because uh, uh, because oh, i don't I, I don't remember cutting why. corners cutting corners Cut, basically cutting corners even though and when you go them. to when you go to that depth you need to have top tier communications oh to have constant communication to the surface for safety and text messages are not going to be sufficient enough to communicate with that service. Yeah. We're so, being crook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The second the second they reached those depths, they were God. dead. Yeah, that was it. They were, they were another they were thing they've probably learned is you definitely have to make sure those controllers are fully charged before you start your little yeah. expedition <laughs> <laughs> or have a couple <laughs> on tanned. Can you plug these Why into would the you... wall, or do you have to plug them into your piece? It's like, oh, uh, 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 the controller's <laughs> red blinking light is on. What should we do? It's like, oh, just plug it into the charger over there. <laughs> just plug the charger on the sub, right? See, that's the problem where, I mean, I guess, you know, like Elon Musk making his rockets and stuff, he's working with the government. but He knows he's what got, he's doing, though. He's the employing people a in lot SpaceX of people know what the fuck that. they're doing. I mean, so look, these people making these subs are just like it, it's like it's like making your own uh, yeah your own buggy in the backyard or something like okay let's just uh, make it and we'll we'll get in there whatever guys I mean there's oh a plethora God. of Elon haters out there but look look what he was able to do we were catching piggyback rides from the Russians to get up to the goddamn space station for a while because yes. you know the shuttle program shut down our next pro you know whatever the fuck was gonna happen with the next program Musk said. Hey, I'll make the fucking rockets and you can work and you can work with me and they're going to be safe. And we knew they were going to be safe because he knew what he was doing. He hired all the right people. And like I said, he was intelligent to begin with. Not like Edison, who pulled in smart people to get him to get, you know, to invent the phonograph and the light bulb. He was very good at getting people to because he didn't invent this stuff. His people invented it. But Musk, I think a lot of it, you know, he's smart. He is smart. Well, he's half of it. Yeah, he's involved. He is absolutely in half of it. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. And like I said, we're taking his rockets to get to the space station. American rockets made here by Americans. And not to sound racist, but I mean, it's our, it's our space program. We should be taking and, and having an active hand. And thankfully for NASA, and it's all about funding. You know, if you don't get funding, you can't take and do what you want to do or what you're supposed to do. Oh, but he's a uh, he's a spy. He's a he's a South African yeah. some sort of weird spy. People are saying now he supports Just, Trump having a voice, whether he, and he might agree with a lot of what Trump or or half of what Trump has to say, but he believes in free speech, and he's he's getting attacked, you know, because of that. At this point, everyone has their own agenda. We know that hmm. none of that ever changes. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's just, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the whole thing of bringing that up, it's like, I mean, like I said, it's just, I don't, I, I don't have any sympathy for the people that went down into the water. I don't. It's like, I mean, if you go, if you go in to a sub that cut corners yep. to go see the Titanic for whatever reason. Then how greedy are you? Bragging I mean, rights. That's really all you're no, no, doing. No, here. no, no, no. The the expression I was going to use is is fuck around and find out. Exactly. <laughs> that exactly. that's that's what I was gonna say. It's like Mother Nature is an isn't, isn't a oh, joke. No, that you can't mess around. That's what my with old her. man used to tell me. He says, never fuck with Mother Nature. That was one of my old man's uh yeah, because like I said, you never know what to expect. Yeah, it's just I mean it, no, it's just I mean, and to be honest, wasn't there like a like a Middle Eastern ma- like family? It was a father and son. Yeah, just- and I feel bad for the son because the son felt pressured. It was his father's birthday coming up, and he yeah. was kind of pressured a little bit to do this as yeah. As a, and so now and he didn't now want to the do kid, it. I now, don't think he wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah he didn't so. want to do it, and now they're what both dead. Well, I feel bad for the kid. The kid. Yeah, I, I feel. I agree. I feel bad for the kid. 
because See? now the kid is not going to have the opportunity to grow up. Exactly. Pop it. And I'm like, you know what? That fucking sucks. We can't that help it if your dad kid. was stupid. Yeah, the dad, dad was, was stupid. stupid. The he dad was. was very stupid. Why do you take a chance like that with your own kid? Yeah, I know. It's, if you want to do so... it, hey, fucking sky's the limit. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Kill yourself. Go kill yourself if you want. Yeah, you're yeah. Gonna, you're going to... Hey, that's in, in Tetris. Case. We're not allowed yeah, in Tetris. We can't. Yeah, yeah, that's but... the kind of thing we can't really be doing on YouTube. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. It's kind of shouldn't be that's stroking low. your mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my you <gosh>. wish. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> You've been setting that up. <laughs> He's been waiting for that. I, all I day. want you guys to know I'm not bored or not interested. I'm fascinated. I'm just. This Having stupid idiot cunt gave me COVID at work, I swear. She was doing health and safety training. <laughs> Every fucking word into her sleeve. Wait, health wait, wait. <laughs> the, health, the health and safety trainer instructor thing uh, was coughing? Yes, she was deathly fucking ill, and I've been ill since, and it's just been a fucking horrible... That's, that is work. hilarious. Jimmy Grins lives in a world of irony. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes, he does. <laughs> but you know what? That happens more often than you think. It happens in education. And I have a personal story that I won't go into right now, but something similar where an educator comes in, they're obviously sick. They look like death warmed over. And it's like, you know, why would you have a meeting and take and have people in a meeting here? And shortly after, you know, you, you got the kids uh, zooming in for four or five days while, uh, you know, they do damage control. So it's 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 irresponsible. An, uh, a training director, HR director, it's irresponsible to come in if you're sick. Absolutely, yes, it is. absolutely. To speak okay, for okay. Our all right, brother, all right, Mr. All right. Stone, who has not been able to make it here today, I'm Jim, very dis. Tell Jim to tell Mr. Stone, I'm very disappointed. Jim, your mic is very distracting. Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what happened? Went, hmm. I took it, I took you literally. I was because I've been this whole time. I'm also not only am I sick and I can't focus, but I'm trying to like deal with those, this new mic setup, which I don't know if it even works or not. I won't know until I listen back to the no. show how I feel about this. But you shit, shouldn't be but... playing with your BBM. Jeez, man, big black mic. <laughs> Jim, your mic is very big and very distracting. Put I... it away. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm Hold looking on, at... let me cover it up with this toilet paper I stroke, have conveniently stroke, at my stroke, workstation. Stroke. Why do there happen to be a lot of... <laughs> I won't tell you what that looks like now. <laughs> In your background, there seem to be a few phallic symbols. Jim like... would be cleaning up the mess with toilet paper. This well, is a... that, those are my trophies from my uh, business endeavors. Really important. That's my briefcase award. That is my suit and tie uh, certificate. And that's, that's your fire, my right? Pencil sharpening um, um, commandment. <laughs> and that's your fire right there. Did you start that fire? Listen, I didn't start it, but I'll always fight it. There you go. Good answer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> nice. Always burning. Yeah. And, and no, you... these are not from blowing my nose from sick. Not because I was leaking like a faucet. Uh, well, white. TP uh, is white, used for one of liquid. two things, maybe three things. But this was one for masturbating. Things, it was for collecting my semen. <laughs> oh, oh. I just wanted to be clear. In case that's why toilet question. paper is white. Yeah, that's used. You put it in plastic bags and then try to grow stuff. Kind of like sells it. No, sells I it in Japanese it vending floor. machines. He does. No, I just like put it on the floor and then I, when I wipe around, walk around my dirty home, like my feet get black and then I have these moist tissues that I just wipe my feet. <laughs> that is some, that's some load of shit, Jim. Hey. <laughs> I that's once knew like, a man. Some I'm feel, some... the, the blackened feet, just like <laughs> and thinking about the cake to come on feet. and Like just... like a third world <laughs> peasant. My blackened <laughs> feet. Yeah. Ah. Hey, speaking of third worlds, um, hey, and then nice. I got to hit a third rail and kill myself. Um, I gotta, I'm going out to dinner with the family today. Oh, We're going to a really? real fancy restaurant where called you going? Kentucky Fried Chicken. Maybe KFC. Maybe. I don't know where we're going. Spare no expense. We're going somewhere. Yeah, right? I would 
it would be cheaper if I went for Thai food or Indian food or some fucking sit down restaurant experience than KFC. That you go to place, McDonald's or Burger King these days. I can't fucking believe you walk. Like I said, two people walk away. It's like twenty, twenty five dollars for like what? A couple of burgers and some fries and a drink. You bug in, mm-hmm. buddy. Get the app. If you don't yeah. walk out oh. of McDonald's with less than twenty dollars, maybe more with tax, and have bags of food to where the people are lo- yeah. looking at you like you're a fat pig, then you, then you're not living this life right. No, it, it should be that way when you leave a supermarket these days. But you walk out with virtually nothing, and you know a, a bag of nothing groceries, hundred bucks. It's like there's food shortages and everything's so goddamn expensive. That's Rice patties are not good enough for you. No, not good enough for me. I need. I mean, we heard, once in a we while. heard that guy on the on the radio say those bad things about you. Oh wow! Are you right? Yeah, I heard somebody was talking about me on some other podcast. Do you know if I can? Return address. To work in the rice paddy fields. Hey! Why are we whispering? I'm not sure. Well, he is because he's got his, 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 what, his wife he wants to return somewhere in the house, probably, right? Yeah, she's, she's nearby. I don't call her stage know whisper. Put her in a box like Myrtle and ship her off. Wow. Okay, let's come out of That's that. a Garfield <laughs> reference. Yeah, yeah and, like, and here's another Garfield Myrtle. reference. Here's another Garfield lasagna. reference. Oh, yeah. What yeah, is yeah, yeah I need like lunch, lasagna. too. Yeah, because Garfield loves, loves lasagna. Yeah. And he also likes to annoy his human. Just like my cat. We all. You know, speaking of annoying humans, and since we are almost out, Luke... Were those clips accidentally put in here, or are they for today's show? I saw you put three clips, 20 seconds worth of, uh, I'm sure, absurdity. Are, are they for us, or are they... <laughs> three clips we could, They could be for us if you wanted. I put them in there if we just... It, they could be... This might be something that we would play sometimes. Show about yours, nothing, and it looks you, like a, it's pretty open. You put them in that. for a reason, and right now I'm sitting here rubbing my legs like a fucking weirdo. Stop, God, so, weirdo! You are a weirdo. <laughs> we got to do something. I'm rubbing them well, legs. Now it, ex- now it explains the the perkiness of the mic. God, and those are hairy Italian <laughs> legs too. I just I've never seen his legs before. <laughs> this is just the the type of stuff you see on the internet these days. Gosh, the nothings, yeah. the nothings that yeah. you see on the internet these days. It's that typical uh, shock internet humor. You know how it goes. Boyne has and I am very, very educated when it comes to the matter of streets. Joey C. All right, a little context on that. What the fuck did we just look at? That man in goggles. I have no Joey idea. Joey C. Huh? Listen to he what he's like saying. It. I am very, very educated in the matter of street of the streets. It's such a convoluted way to talk about. It. But look how he's dressed as well. I, this and I am very. Very educated when it comes to the matter of streets. <laughs> it's just yeah, I very... love it. What I, a guy! I, I I got nothing. I I, just, I, I got I nothing either. That's more of like a sound drop than that's a, what I mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. Little... So what else you got? What's the other? What What's the next clip? <laughs> yes. Uh, let's just play it. It's another Joey C. <laughs> Fuck you, Melton. <laughs> Suck my dick. Whoa! <laughs> Bukers, bitches! Maybe I'll get some fucking more. Ah! <laughs> okay. Traitor! <laughs> I can't hear you. What? You, you muted? What? Uh, oh, I muted. Scroll I said me- you son of a bitch. Roll down memory lane. Oh wait, he made an appearance now. Oh no. Yeah, great. You ruined the show. Episode, you have to pay well, him you now. Know what? It was only now you gotta fair. pay him. Episode one thousand and one. He was nine hundred pounds in nine hundred episodes of him. So it's only fair. A that pound he did per that. episode. Yeah, that works out. You little Jake Hudson piece of shit, Luke. I fucking I have very common sense and I know strategies. See, people, Italians know how to do strategy very fucking well. Yeah, Luke, you you know very common sense. You sure do. I know very common sense, and the, I'm a I'm a strategy tragedy. I'm a I'm a strategy tragedy. 
Was that an early effort by him for podcasting? Was he kind of testing out a no, This was two was days ago. That was, yeah, that was two really? days ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, and yes, Charles Whedon, that's where um, our old podcasting mate, uh, Pork Pie, has gone. That's what he's doing now at this time. He's on wow. Joey C's channel, and he's wow. hanging out with that guy and Kai. Uh, <clears throat> hey, what can you say? Sometimes in this life, people have to trade up, you know? Uh, so God bless him for that opportunity to right. trade up. And You know what? The one, I think what I appreciate what the most about the... At. The one thing I appreciate the most about the DJR network, it both attracts and repels people that are on the spectrum. And I respect <laughs> you for that. <laughs> so I, I agree with that. And repel. Certain on one parts. hand, Charles Whedon. <laughs> on the other hand, his cousin. Well, I mean, you have to under you have to understand that uh, like people on the autism spectrum need, are like they're on a spectrum. Like some people are great, other people yeah. not so much. Yeah. I think we're maybe maybe, maybe not the mist. I don't want to know, don't let no one lie to you, Kish. You're you're fucking you're on the spectrum. I think everyone oh. here is somewhere on the spectrum. Newsflash, um, <laughs> newsflash, because it's but just no, this, very it, different it, ends of that spectrum. Okay. Diagnosed no, with it, ADHD. I mean, ADHD. Is that what you want to hear? No, ADD, not not ADHD. They literally no invented a uh, classification for me. N N. HI or NNED, it was neo neurologically impaired. NNI, I think. Because yeah, I'm, but don't don't they have like good. don't they have like a new like uh, some neo? kind of mental condition every other year or something? Maybe, well, but this they, was the they, 80s, they come buddy. up with a new. I was one special every when other it happened. Okay, <laughs> they put yeah. it in a book. I have the doctor universe. made money off of that classification. Well, hell, 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 hell. Ten years ago, my condition was called Asperger's, and then. Five years or less. And now it's they called pancake cheeks. No, no, no. <laughs> five five years or less, they decided to change it from Asperger syndrome to just ASD, which of course is autism spectrum disorder. Exactly. Yeah, really, because exactly. because it was called Aspergers. Of course, no, they no, 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 it. Uh, no. The reason why they stopped calling it Aspergers is because the name Aspergers originates from the nazi regime because yep. the, guy the, guy who, asked, the guy who discovered it yeah the guy who discovered it was actually a nazi listen that was the excuse yeah. they used but it took them decades to change mongolian idiot to retard and then retard oh, yeah. to yeah. something else this one they saw the asperger's smeared all over the wall and they knew they had to change it they just made that not they, they just used that nazi shit as a crutch well but like 30 well, yeah 30, 40 years ago, they were taking people that were, were profoundly autistic, that were nonverbal, that were acting, quote, quote, crazy, and they would chain them to the wall of a mental institutions. And then they finally realized it was it was not brain damage. It was uh, it was synapses. It was neuro. It was uh, what they call neuro atypical, you know, neurotypical versus neural atypical. And, and yeah. the spectrum and, is and wide. It goes from one end, you know, to, like I said, full blown autism boom 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 well know. the different there there are there's also the versions we just called uh high functioning and then there's low functioning. exactly exactly uh what uh what i am considered is uh high functioning like i'm high functioning which means yeah. I, I i i mean i'm like at first glance i would be con i mean you wouldn't even be able to tell that i'm autistic but the more that you get to know me you would be able to tell right like subtle hints right. you'd be able to pick up on it oh, yeah. now low functioning autism is when you it's flat out obvious right like uh low functioning people that are low functioning autistic uh they wouldn't even be able to make eye contact <sighs> they wouldn't be able to speak to you they'd probably be drooling over themselves i'm not gonna uh, drool. uh they would um they'd probably end up like rocking back and forth yep. like this yep. oh yeah as um, i'm literally rocking back and forth you're, you're uh <laughs> they might they might make make noises like this going like Ooh, I'm doing, every, I'm doing like all that. of that except for the drooling yeah, yeah yeah they would they i'm not i'm not making fun of people like that i'm just providing examples yeah but i hope you're not making fun of me watch video yeah. watch videos of uh, bill gates at meetings and you'll see him rocking he he's he's definitely on he's autistic or on the spectrum he but might be, you'll, you'll, yeah. you'll see him, you, you'll see you'd him be rocking. surprised you'd be surprised how many people are actually on the spectrum well there are a lot of people that are coco geniuses because what happens is you get that hyper focus and there's something about having the blinders on and concentrating on one thing at a time. So, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. But no, it's just, I mean, hell, I was surprised to find out how many celebrities are actually on the spectrum. Oh, yeah. David like, David Byrne I, of, of Talking Heads. He's yeah, yeah, absolutely I, I, Asperger's. Yeah, I That's found it. out, I found out that the actress Daryl Hannah is also on the spectrum. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she found I found out that she is. Um, At some point I think they're just going to start to find out that that's it's it's more of a common thing than you think. I mean, yeah. not necessarily it's like everyone has everyone has some sort of uh tweak in their brain. Right. They used whether, to call it they used to call it eccentric. The guy was a little eccentric back in the days and then they said no, it, it there there's a reason for it. And yeah. you know, like I said, newer, that, that's like I said, before 1970, people didn't know what the fuck autism was. And then I think in the early 70s, all the research began. They began to look at it a little more intensely. Uh, one of the contributors to help uh, to help with the research was a woman by the name of Temple Grandin. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The movie. Yeah. Yeah. With Claire Danes played Temple, Claire right? Danes. Yep. Mm hmm. I've never seen the movie, but I have seen parts of it. And, uh, I, I like I liked what I saw of it. You know? Yeah, like she created a device that uh, that helped her, uh, like when like it was uh, it was to like simulate being like held without actually being touched. Like she right. would pull on to the pull onto these ropes, and it would like have these boards that would like close in on her, and it would simulate yeah. the feeling yeah. of being held. Yeah, she came up with yeah. a meth a humane method of killing cattle. Yeah. She mm -hmm. she came and and they switched to it, like yeah. I said. She she was she's a genius, you know. Oh yeah. So a spike through the temple instead of up the nose. The guy. Damn. I, I don't know. Sure. But, um, I believe. Yeah, it. but no, it's just uh, I'm familiar with the movie. Yeah. yeah, I remember the scene in the movie where uh, all the parents with their autistic kids were taught were at a seminar and this guy was who claimed to be an expert on people with autism was just stammering over his own words and he was trying to tell them to get their kids to calm down and the kids right. were not calming down right. and then temple just walked up and explained things and they wouldn't listen to her because they were like she, she's not an expert and one woman said like well how would you like are, like like like, is your kid autistic? And it's like, no, I don't have any kids. And they just ignored her. And then she said, but I am autistic. And then everybody just turned exactly, their heads exactly. and just like started paying attention to her. And they all just, she just walked up to the stage. And that's the part where I stopped watching, which I don't yeah. know why I did. Yeah. I need to go back and watch that movie. Yeah, I, but, I, I but, do. Right. But, um, yeah, it's like anything else. Unless you're a special ed teacher and you've worked with enough people or kids in that scenario or you're a parent at this point, the world doesn't know what to look for all the time and doesn't understand what's involved with it. it it's 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 a very strange existence when you have to take and deal with it. You make the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And of course, when I when I was younger, like in like middle school and high school age, that's where my autism was at its worst. Like nowadays, I've learned to live with it. I've learned to manage it. But um, my middle school and high school days were really, really bad. They Adolescent worry. is it's tough because yeah. you're 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 starting to learn about a lot of things at that mm -hmm. point, and it just it just complicates everything. No, I oh yeah, you. yeah, yeah. No, but it's just it, it was. Uh, it, I mean, I, like I said, I've learned to live with it, and it's just um, I have my methods to deal with it. Like if I still have flare ups every now and then, but uh, I have methods to manage it. Like usually, what I do is, um, I mean, it's the reason why I play video games a lot. Uh, video games help me cope with it a oh, lot, yeah. and um, I also listen to music. Music, music is good, yeah. Music helps That's a lot. That's why as I well. do drugs and have sex with prostitutes. <laughs> um, I, I don't do drugs because uh, drugs are illegal where I'm at, and I don't want to get caught. <laughs> yeah, don't blame me on but that. But the yeah. prostitutes, yeah. you know, that's all. Yeah, other well, story. prostitution, depending on what state you're in. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, no, I mean, I might if I go to Vegas, maybe, but well, yeah. Um, yeah, but or um, Reno. Or Reno, but Reno is um, uh, Vegas's redheaded step cousin. Exactly. Around. Yeah, but um, same with Atlantic City. But um, oh yeah. But um, no, it's just um, no. The, the music that definitely helps me cope with it is dubstep. Oh, um, I, I like. That's interesting. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, um, I wouldn't have guessed the, that. The, 
it's it's the, it's the vibrations. It's the vibrations of dubstep that definitely help. It's um the way to describe it is mm. it feels like um ha, um here it'll be it'll be easier to show you. Yeah. Here. I mean, dub's like a variation on on uh, reggae. At least uh, can, it, can you guys see this? This right yeah. here. Yeah. Ray I was literally talking to the woman about one of these last night. I was saying, the, what the, the fuck is the reason for them? The, this what, this is a weighted to, blanket. This oh, is yeah. a weight, right, right, this right, is yeah. a weighted blanket. I couldn't imagine using one. And um when uh when I listen to dubstep, uh when I when I'm stressed out or when I have an autism flare up, um uh when uh when i'm listening to dubstep it feels like i'm being um i'm being wrapped in a weighted blanket that's yeah. what it feels like and it's very relaxing yeah no weighted Luke, blanket don't is, leave we all have to leave yeah weighted blanket is a security thing because like i said that's yeah. what they have they have weighted blankets weighted vests for for you know kids in school and whatnot mm. and uh like you said it's the weight it's being you know like this there, there's a comfort with it so. yeah yeah, and it's just like that weighted blanket makes it incredibly easy for me to sleep exactly. every night. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I get it. I, as soon as I go underneath that weighted blanket, I am out like a light, like almost instantly. And All right, out. so I, I probably should get going. It's 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 getting all right, Luke. It's yeah, it's yeah. unfortunately weighted blanket is a perfect time to take us out because there I need go. to go lay down for five minutes before I leave for the evening or I'll kill okay. my family in a car accident. Well, we don't want to see that. Yeah, I, <laughs> no, I need no, a five-minute nap. Well, Jim uh, Grindle, bon appetit with your family. Yeah, I'll come back for a sec. Yeah. I yeah, thought yeah. you were going to say Jim Grindle, R.I.P. Yeah, but uh, uh, I guess we are going to close it out for, uh, with me discussing my adventures in the world of autism. Yes. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. Adventures yeah. in the World of Autism, starring yeah. Charles Whedon. Yeah, a yeah, new comic right. coming, not like yeah. the other one. See, the yeah, other yeah, thing the, I like about the incredibly racist one. No, but <laughs> the other thing I like about the DJR network, not only is it entertaining, but it's educational. Exactly. Exactly. Always. But uh, I, I will go ahead and close us out. So uh, thanks, everyone, for stopping by to check out the first nothing show in many years hopefully the not the last first episode thanks hopefully not the last hopefully we'll do another no one this soon. was a lot of fun i would definitely yeah. do this again yeah yeah oh, but anywho we'll thanks for stopping by everyone and thanks we guys will see we will see you next time charles don't forget your classic sign off and then we're gonna play a song for goodbye just you know okay easy. yes i i know what classic sign off mm -hmm. he's talking about so i'm gonna go ahead and do it so everybody get ready Get ready. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Sure. Fo focus me. Focus me. Fuck us. Fuck us. No, I. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs> bye bye. It was a wonderful show. Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. Mr. Yeah. Sicky. Thanks for stopping by, folks. Thank you, Mr. Kish. I. The Age of Illusion. Starring Charles Weedon. Tim Bandan. The Age of Illusion. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone is beautiful. Everything is fine. I don't know about you, but I am a fucking badass. A very strong wine. Everyone is beautiful. That's rude, Richard Kiss. Everyone is gay. Very strict beer, too. Not me. Okay. Oh, man, I'm chocolate cake. And everything's okay. Oh, my goodness, this is going. Join us next time, would you kindly? Who did it next time? Uh, 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 uh,